Happy New Year guys! Do you ever wonder what kind of makeup to put when you're just running some errands, when you don't want to go with a full face of makeup but you still want to be presentable and look nice? Or you have some Zoom call meetings and you really don't want to put entire makeup for 15 minutes of Zoom call. I'm going to show you how to get this glowy, fresh makeup look which is very natural and very easy to get. So follow along! I start off with the Jennifer Lopez Beauty, that J.Lo Glow Serum. Its gel formulation is extremely hydrating and doesn't get greasy. I'm following it with J.Lo Beauty, that Blockbuster Wonder Cream. It's slightly on the heavier side, but still not greasy or oily. So anyone with oily skin can also use it. It has hyaluronic acid, antioxidants, and squalene, which provides deep hydration. Then comes the Bobbi Brown Peach Color Corrector, which I dab it underneath my eyes for instantly awakened look. Go with a very thin layer to prevent creasing after concealer application. I'm using Bare Minerals Complete Coverage Serum Concealer Shade Medium, which I'll apply all over my lids till my brows to neutralize any redness, pigmentation, and match it with the surrounding skin. To prevent it from creasing, I'll use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, which feels like silk on your skin and minimizes the appearance of pores. I will dab it under my eyes as well as on the lids. Now comes the blush, which is a Mau Pink Petal Shade by Bobbi Brown, which I'm applying on my lids. Since we are going for a natural, dewy look, I'm keeping it very light. The creamy blush helps to keep the look very fresh and dewy. The Milani Baked Blush in Dolce will go as a topper. Since it's a powder formula, it will help set the creamy blush in place. It also builds onto the pink color. It's time for the brows. Using the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil Shade 3.5, I'm keeping it natural by just filling in the sparse areas with very gentle strokes and setting it with the NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter Gel. I like using brown eyeliner for days when I'm keeping my makeup subtle. So this Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil in Whiskey, which is a matte brown, does the trick. Go very close to the upper lash line. I'm also tight lining my eyes with it. Smudge it using a small smudging brush to diffuse it. You can see that I've angled the outer corner to give an almond shape to my eyes. An easy way to lift and roll your lashes is by using your fingers. I actually love it better than the curler. You can follow this with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which is my current favorite mascara. Follow the upward rolling motion and wiggle at the roots to add volume and definition. Apply a second coat afterwards too, but don't wait too long between the coats as it can make the mascara clump. Using the same concealer from earlier, I'll conceal under my eyes. A nice thin layer gives it an almost invisible appearance. Apply some near the inner corners of the eyes and blend it using a sponge. Blend it upward towards the temples to give your eyes a naturally lifted appearance so they appear bright and fresh. And set it with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder again. Going with the same concealer around my mouth as well as around the nose where I have some redness and discoloration. And again, I'm going to blend it using a beauty blender. A beauty blender helps to get a more natural and luminous finish rather than using a brush which can be a mattifying finish. Apply any remaining product over the forehead as well. I'm mixing the Live Tinted U Glow in Dawn with a little of my ColourPop Pretty Fish Tinted Moisturizer in 11N. I have been mixing the U Glow Serum slash Illuminator in my skincare products and makeup for the ultimate dewy look. Again, you're gonna blend it using a beauty blender to get a more seamless natural finish. And set it all up with the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. Using the same Bobbi Brown Cream Blush, I'll apply it with a beauty blender on the apples of my cheeks as well as on the bridge of my nose. Always blend upwards towards the temple. The Hourglass Bronzer in Nude Bronze is a slight cool tone bronzer which helps with contouring the face while adding subtle warmth. I'm also going under the jawline to create a well-defined jawline. Again, it's not a hard contour, just a soft shaping of face. Blend it well into the neck. Using the Lip Tinted Hue Glow for a dewy highlight over the cheeks and blending it with my fingertips. It's a thicker product so using fingertips helps to warm the product and makes blending easier. And there goes some more mascara on my lower lashes as well. Now comes the lip liner by Colourpop in Love Bug. Not absolutely necessary for this look but I'll show it for those of you who prefer lip liner. The final step is the lipstick by NYX Diamonds and Ice Collection in High Key which is only $4.50 on NYX.com right now. It goes well with our pink dewy natural makeup look. To add a little 3D effect to the lips, I'm using the Revlon Super Lustrous Matte Lipstick and Pick Me Up to the center of my lips and dabbing it and diffusing it with my fingertips. And here's my final pinkish nude natural makeup look guys. 
It's perfect for running errands, daytime meetings, for college, or even just lounging at home. Do subscribe to my channel, Makeup Simplified, and also check me on Instagram at make.up.simplified. Also, you can tag me in your photos by hashtag makeoverbycash, or also tag me for make.up.simplified. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, press the bell icon so you continue to get notification of the videos I post. Bye!